Coverage of the Letitia Stock murder trial today. Jurors learned more about Gannon Stock's injuries before he died. Letitia is accused of murdering her 11 year old stepson Gannon in 2020. The trial now in its second week. News 5's Ashley Portillo has been following this trial since it started. She's joining us live tonight from the El Paso County Courthouse with the latest. Ashley. Diane, so many of Gannon's family members, including his biological parents, were actually not inside of the courtroom for probably the first hour or so today. Now, that was during testimony from a medical examiner who was describing photos of Gannon's autopsy and injuries that were found on his body. Now, that medical examiner is from Flor Florida, excuse me, where Gannon's body was found. She testified saying there were a total of 18 sharp force injuries from a knife or a blade, four blunt force injuries, including skull fractures and one gunshot wound to Gannon's chin area. Now, Gannon also had defensive injuries as he tried to protect himself. That medical examiner called this a violent death. Now, detectives with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office also testified today. One detective said Harley, that's Letitia's teenage daughter, was at the Stalk home for parts of the investigation. That detective said when she mentioned Gannon's disappearance, Harley just refused to say anything, which the detective said she found odd. That detective also in charge of finding any notable leads about Gannon's disappearance, including financial transactions. Yes, sir. We were made aware that a large amount of money had been transferred into Ms. Stotch's, ac Stotch's account, I believe, from Harley's account. And would that have been $2,600? Yes, sir. And concerning to the, the fact they may be leaving the area due to that transaction? Yes, sir. That kind of corroborated our thought of she'd be moving this money so that she was able to flee the state. And at the end of the day, a former local TV news reporter also testified discussing his interview with Letitia Stout back in 2020. That reporter said Letitia approached him saying negative things about the TV coverage, so she decided to give an interview right then and there. That reporter testified saying it appeared Letitia was more concerned with her own appearance and what people were saying about her as opposed to what happened to Gannon. Now others in law enforcement last week also testified saying similar statements. Now this murder trial will resume tomorrow morning at nine o'clock in the morning here at the El Paso County Courthouse and dozens of other witnesses are expected to take the stand to testify in at least the four or five weeks ahead. And I'll be here every day giving you the latest and most up to date information. For now, reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo for News 5.